After moving back three spots via a trade with the Steelers, the New England Patriots select Oregon's Christian Gonzalez. The 20-year-old cover corner led the Ducks last season with four INTs and seven pass breakups. A long-limbed elite athlete, Gonzalez, is likely to be the youngest player in the NFL next season. Back in studio with BMAC and Ryan Wilson going to Pete Prisco for a grade. Pete, this is one of the highest ceilings in the class, which is exciting, but that also means there's work to be done. Is this the right place to do the work for Gonzalez? Oh, this is a great spot for him, and this is a great pick for the Patriots. I mean, they trade down and get the guy I think is the number one corner in this draft. He's long. He's athletic. He will fit in perfectly with how they want to play their defense. I love this pick. It's a great job when you can move down uh, and still get a really talented player at a position of need, and that's exactly what the New England Patriots did. I'm going to go back-to-back -back A's for mm. corners. I love what uh, both Washington did and now what the New England Patriots did. It's getting late. Pete's warming up, throwing out <laughs> A's here in the mid-first uh, of the mid -first round. Excuse me. He said first-rated corner on his board. You said close, but he was your number one corner yeah. as well. Gonzalez waits longer than we thought he might here. How do you like the fit? Uh, longest trip that you can make here, campus to franchise. Yeah, that's right. He ended up being the third cornerback <laughs> Drafted BMAC. I had him as my cornerback one just ahead of Devin Witherspoon. Of course, Emmanuel Forbes went just ahead with the Commanders. But we talked about this earlier. We think there's a little gamesmanship here. Lucas Van Ness went to the Packers. Yep. It felt like the Patriots wanted him. He's gone, so they trade down, but make it easy for the Steelers to move up to get what they want in Broderick Jones to avoid keeping the Jets from getting that offensive tackle. Yeah. Instead, they get Christian Gonzalez. And this is a guy who comes in as a long fast mm -hmm. track speed corner mm -hmm. and legit track speed his sisters are uh, Olympic track yeah they they know how to run fast and you see that on tape now the, the question coming in when he transferred from Colorado to Oregon was can he be physical helping uh, against the run and can he be can he show us the ball skills that we didn't necessarily see for the Buffaloes yeah. yes and yes mm -hmm. my only question is I'm gonna have to find out why he slipped because no that's question. one of the biggest question marks so far in this draft yeah for the Patriots getting Christian Gonzalez at 17 no one saw that now, this is a huge, huge move for them because you talk about the top four corners from their team a year ago. You got Jonathan Jones, 5'10", Miles Bryant, 5'9", Marcus Jones, 5'8", Jack Jones, who I love, by the way, had a great rookie campaign, 5'11". So they lacked height and length. At the cornerback position, you go get one of the taller guys, extremely athletic as well, and factor in who you will see twice a year. Aaron Rodgers with his pass catchers. Mm -hmm. Josh Allen with Stephon Diggs and the rest of the crew. Tua Tungavailoa with the cheetah, and you might as well throw me into the equation when you talk about having the cheetah, but they don't have any issues in regards to star power at the quarterback position and the pass catcher position in the AFC East. So for the Patriots to try to stay afloat, they got to go get guys that are long that can cover those said receivers that I mentioned. That's a really good point, BMAC. Young, gifted, and now paid Gonzalez off the board to the Patriots as we take a look at what the Pats have done in the past when it comes to defensive backs and it's been a minute. Highest drafted, 1976. You went top 10. Here we are at 17. Christian Gonzalez in 2023 headed to play for Bill Belichick.